All right, number one, almost coming up. So with all three of these, because of the new way of looking at these rhythms, see if you can count it first each day just to make sure that you remember how this stuff works without just relying on Guitar Pro. So I'm going to make sure that you can sight read this stuff and not always rely on hearing it first. So not a bad idea. Count along as you play just in case you're having a hard time spacing things out rhythmically correct. So here we go. Number one, 60. What? Two, three, four, one. Everything is on the D string this week. That's because that's the string you had a tendency to create chords with. Your index finger kept fretting the G string. So, extra careful. No chords. 120. One, two, three, four. up that pinch. 180, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 240, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Didn't screw up that pinch. Alright, number 2, 60, 1, 2, 3, Four, one, and, and three, 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 four, done. So if you do it correctly, all the pull-offs, hammer-ons correctly, those things will continue ringing out. 120, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, and, and 3, 4, 1, and, and 3, 4, 1, and, and 3, 4, done. 180, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Two forty one two one two three four. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Number three. <coughs> and some of those slides might sound extra weird on Guitar Pro. Hopefully they're not going to be weird enough to distract you. I just wanted to give you a heads up there. Slides on Guitar Pro can sound pretty strange sometimes. All right, 60 for number three. One, two, three, four, one. Too high. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and and one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then one. It helps if you look at the fret you're going to slide to. 120, Start taking your time learning those scale shapes, or continue taking your time learning them. And uh, suggested, yeah, just E minor backing tracks are good. Yes, so would be uh, uh, B 
Phrygian. You might like those. See, Lydian might come uh, come up with some interesting stuff too. Sometimes Lydian backing tracks can be fun. And then they're for the sus two and sus four arpeggios. You can just like run through the page like once a day, and get familiar with them. You can also start. Well, I was gonna say you can start improvising with those as well. But those are in the key of C, so just be careful of that. Be careful. You can always transfer them to the key of G too. But that might be that might be asking too much at this point. But just improvise in the key of C. You can always do that too. Gotta keep those scales in the brain. So I think that covers it all. If any questions come up, let me know. I'll see you next week.